River Duron. That's a small river in France. Well, I'm on the upper reaches, so it is a small river at the moment. I'm just fishing for pretty much anything at the moment. Using a single bit of corn, the size 10 hooch, just on a normal running ledger. Just I'm moving up the river to various spots I've been pre baking now for a couple of days with corn. I've seen barbel feeding, so I know they're barbel in this stretch. I'm fishing the same stretch that I did last year, where I saw carp, barbel, and chub. This year I've also seen some barbel, chub, and roach. I've already had one fish today, I've had a roach of about half pound, so that's a good start. Yeah, I'm just, it's much more coloured than it was last year, which is a good thing, especially for the barbel. And, um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Nice. swim. I'm in one of the swims I've been pre baiting. I've been coming down every night and chucking two or three handfuls of corn, see if we can try and get some of the barbel and carp constant in feeding on corn, really. But, yeah, I had a few fish come off in the other swim I was fishing and I found on this river especially on this stretch once you had one or two fish the shell just don't want to know about your bait anymore so I've moved down to a, to this swim here I've already had a little bite and I've lost a small roach hopefully that hasn't put off a shell or if it has hopefully a barbel or a carp might come in and suck up my bait but yeah I've got my bait just out there near that tree near as I dare get because of the um the snags underneath the water. But yeah, just by that tree. We'll see if we can catch another fish. I just managed to lose a good fish. It was a really good fish. The um instead of the rod tip bending right over it, dropped back and the um and I picked it up, struck on it, straight away the rod hooped right right over and the clutch went screaming off and the fish just went straight into that snag and snapped me off so I, I went back home re retackled so and I've um, tightened up my clutch got the same bait on I've just put it back where where, the, where it took it last time very much doubt I'll get another <laughs> take or take like that or even get the fish in so um, maybe next time I might catch that fish, you never know. But my instincts would say it's, it was a river carp that did that, not a barbell or something, because um, the way that fish took off was ridiculous. So, there are river carp in there, I've seen them in here, I've seen them mooching about. Um, there aren't many, so they're not easy to catch. That's my main target down now. Um, I have already had a small barbel, not out of here, out of a different stretch. Unfortunately, I forgot my camera. But I'll be down that stretch again soon, so we'll see if we can catch another barbel out of that for the camera. But, my main target now is a river carp. I know another stretch where I may be able to catch one, but we'll have to wait and see. Just managed to lose another fish. Not sure if it was a carp, but felt big. And um, I, I did see it flash, it didn't look that big, it looked about two, three pounds. But compared to the little roach I've been catching, that's quite big. But yeah, it yeah, just got caught around an underwater log down there. So I think what happened is I must have cast over the log or something. Then when the fish took it, I must have just swam towards it and got caught on it. But oh well, at least I know there's some bigger fish in here and willing to take my bait. I've got another week left. As I think I said earlier, but I'll give I'll, I'll give that another go. I'll give it sorry. I'll give it another go down here um, for the cart and barbel. I think this is the swim I'll be fishing from now on, opposed to the other one you saw earlier, which has been the main swim I've been fishing down here. Just because it's clear of snags, pretty much. But yeah, I think I've, I've got a stronger rod on me. I've got a stronger. John Wilson rod, it's a river pike rod. So and that's two point two five pound test curve. So I think if I come in there come in here with a bit stronger line such as eight pound opposed to six which is which is what I've got on here. I might be able to give them a bit more welly if I take it. 
stop me from going in the snags. That's my plan for next time. I'm doing a very simple setup, just um, a small lead, just stopped on the line by two shots. So it's a little bolt rig down to a size 10 hook with a bit of corn on. So you can't really get much more simple than that, can you? But these fish in this river don't really get fish for that much. I have seen evidence of fishing along here, but I haven't actually met anyone fishing on here. But the locals seem to want to fish for trout and things a bit more than the carp and, and chub and barbel and things because, you know, they, they can actually eat them. Take them home and eat them. So, yeah, I'll be down here again hopefully in the next week, so see if I can get me uh, carp out. I don't think I'm going to catch anything today or this session anyway. I'm only going to be here for another 5 10 minutes. I've got to go around for breakfast. But yeah. I don't think I'm going to catch anything today. I'll spook them out so much, I think, or put them off feeding. I've only ever seen two carp in here, so perhaps I've just spooked both of them. Anyway, I'll see you later. Here we go. Absolute cracking little carp. Just taking up the river on a single bit of corn. This fish has probably never been caught before. Its curtain is still intact. Absolutely beautiful fish. That's my first ever river carp. I've tried bloody hard to catch this fish over the past week or so. It's only about three pounds at the most. Probably about, actually I'd say about three and a half. Fish, pure muscle. Very long fish for the size of the fish. I'm absolutely chuffed to catch that. Right, let's put it back. As you just saw, it's a nice little river cart. Um, absolutely chuffed with that. I'm over the moon. I think that was definitely one of those cases, well, to me anywhere, where size really doesn't matter. I think, to me, just catching a river cart of any size is an achievement in itself, especially what I've had to go through over the past week or so trying to stalk out where, you know, trying to stalk out the fish, find out where they are, try and find what bait they're feeding on. I mean, of course, being down here last year definitely helped. I, I knew, that meant I knew that there were carp in here, and I knew that the smaller roach and things were feeding on corn, so, which meant the carp must be as well, but, yeah, I've, I feel like I deserve that fish, and, yeah, over the moon with that. I'm glad I managed to catch it on camera for you as well. I'm still going to be targeting them down here, if I can catch myself a bigger one. But yeah, absolutely over the moon with that little fish. And considering I'm on holiday, I haven't got all my tackle with me, I haven't got all the, you know, the um, hook, the hooks and line and things I'd want for carp fishing. Um, well, because I haven't got all that with me, it means that I've had to sort of bodge together a rig for this fish. And it's worked, which is nice. But like I said earlier, if they don't really get fish for on here, it's quite nice because that carp I had there, it shows that they do respond to simple rigs. Also, that fish had never been caught before. Well, I'm pretty sure it never been caught before. Number one, because it still had the curtain intact. Number two, because no one really fishes for carp or any of the coarse fish down there. There are a few trout, and I know the locals fly fish for them or float fish a worm for them but yeah absolutely over the moon with that fantastic